Let me just say something if I can first. I know that all of us were pleased, of course, when the hijackers were apprehended and uh, the hostages were all freed, but then I know how sorry all of us were to learn that one, an American, Springhofer, had been murdered, brutally murdered, by the hijackers. Now, it is possible, and certainly it is apparent at this time, or it seems to be, that they have uh, been allowed to depart Egypt and departs unknown. But we're doing everything we can to see if they cannot be brought to justice. We think that no nation, responsible nation, should give shelter to these people, should make them available to whichever country has the proper jurisdiction for prosecution. If that is us because the victim was American, fine. Uh, Italy because it was on an Italian ship, or uh, I'm not a lawyer of the legal niceties of that sort of thing, but we're going to do everything we can to see that they are brought to justice. Are you mad at Egypt for letting them go, Mr. President? Apparently, from what we know so far, it's been rather difficult getting all the information. Apparently, the Egyptians did not know that uh, a hostage had been murdered, that there had been a crime committed of that kind before they were turned over to the PLO, which evidently was the arrangement to get them off the ship and free the hunt. Mr. What President, does everything we can mean? If Arafat has them now, how are we going to bring them to justice if Arafat and the PLO has them? Well, I think certainly a demand should be made. Uh, Mr. Arafat has said that the PLO had nothing to do with this. I would think that uh, we should make a demand to him then to turn them over to whichever country should have proper jurisdiction. Arafat said, Arafat says that didn't it. you say the same thing about the TWA hijackers and yet nothing has happened there? Yes. The problem was we all know the situation in Lebanon. There, the government seems to have very little authority with all the conflicting groups that are there battling each other. But we did make a demand and we have we continue to try and find out apprehend. Those original two hijackers who committed the murder and the PWA claim. Arafat says that he'll punish them. Arafat says that he'll punish them. Is that good enough for you? Well, I would like, I would think that if he believes that their organization has enough of a sort of a kind of national or set up like a nation that they can bring them to justice and. Uh, carry that out, all right, but just so they are brought to justice. So you'd let the PLO punish them then? Huh? Yeah, do you if, think, they are, if they are determined to do that. Do you really believe that the PLO had nothing to do with this? I have no way of knowing one way or the other on that. But the factions that are existing there within the Palestinians, uh, I, I have no way to know well, Sir, if you would let the PLO punish them, wouldn't that be an effect recognizing the PLO as a government and nation, which we don't do? I don't think that that would necessarily follow. I, I don't Is the U.S. willing to take action itself, Mr. President? Would the U.S. take military action to bring these people to justice? You're now talking about whether we would invade a friendly nation if they were in the hands of a friendly nation. No, we're going to try to do this in a legal manner. The time for action that could have been taken by us is passed and was ended when well, the, you, President, the rescue President, was made. Did you even consider? if they had not murdered an American, would it have been right to offer them free passage in your opinion? Well, you know our position has always been, and we tried to persuade all the other countries that had an interest in this and were involved, that you do not negotiate or bargain with terrorists. But they did, didn't they? Yes, they did. What do you think of that? Well, I'm not going to comment on that. They made a judgment. What is bringing them to justice? Is that just giving them a six-month jail term or something? No, this is trying them for murder, a very brutal murder, and the threat of murder to others. What does this do In to the our peace? country, that would mean capital punishment. What does this do to the peace process, sir? Does this end the peace process for the, for the time being? I, I don't think it has an effect on that.
lower and flatter tax rates will give Americans more confidence in the future. It'll mean that if you work overtime, get a raise or a promotion, or if your com company does well and raises your Mr. President, uh, the employees of the kitchens of Sara Lee thought uh, long and hard about an appropriate gift to celebrate your visit. And we decided unanimously that our gift should help you achieve. size for us. Uh, up to now, we've only had regular size and family size, but you'll notice this is the new federal size. Yes. Listen, I'm just going to take a second. I got 30 people waiting in there to have lunch. But apparently there's a little confusion. Maybe I'm responsible. I don't know. With regard to the PLO and their part in this hostage uh, setup, uh, I did not mean to imply that I favored them giving a trial or attempting to do justice to the hijackers. But I, I really believe that the PLO, if the hijackers are in their custody, should turn them over to a sovereign state uh, that would have jurisdiction and could prosecute them as the murderers that they are. And uh, that is reality what I think should be done and what we would make every effort to uh, see would be done. Well, sir, if they won't turn them over, how can we make them turn them over? That is a problem we'll have to look at and find out. And if I had an answer to that specifically right now, I wouldn't make it public. Are you satisfied that the PLO does have control of the hijackers in Tunisia now? I would have to tell you that there had been so many things spoken and left uh, unanswered in this, and this and then I'm going to go into lunch after I say this, that uh, I'm hesitant about saying anything positive. Uh, it was our understanding that they were put in their custody, and where they are now or whether they have them, I don't really know. And. Uh, I'm just trying to keep in touch with our sources of information, our ambassador there, to uh, to try and stay abreast of, of what the situation is. Are you satisfied is. that they're out of Egypt, though, sir? No, I'm not even satisfied with that. Does all I, trial, all I know is they're off the boat, and uh, they're someplace over there, and uh, our people are safe. Does but no trial, trial by the PLO. PLO. What? No you, trial by the PLO. No, I don't Mr. think that. They are not a sovereign nation, and I don't think that they would have a machinery that... So you would what not Mubarak be satisfied, as you said before, you would not be satisfied if they punished you. You said that you would be satisfied, but now you're saying you would not be satisfied. Well, uh, no, and I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have made a statement of that kind. I think that I was thinking kind of as mad as I am, uh, vengeance instead of justice. And but but any sovereign nation? What? Any sovereign nation? Well, I think that there are, there's a possibility of uh, our own because it was our citizen, but... Uh, Italy because it was an Italian ship. I think because the crime began in Egypt, there could be a, I think that you could find a reason for uh, more than one sovereign nation to have jurisdiction uh, in this case. Don't you Mr. believe President Mubarak Israelis. when he says that they're out of Egypt? The uh, President Mubarak says they're out of Egypt. Don't you believe him? Uh, in the case, it's whether he has all the same information or the information he should have, too. Earlier, uh, in his work to get the hostages freed, he did not know that a crime had been committed either. He Mr. President, said they were all safe. say that the, the Yasser Arafat, Arafat knew in advance of the raid. Is that your understanding, sir? <coughs> the Israelis say Yasser Arafat knew in advance of the hijacking. I wouldn't have any way of knowing whether that's true. They say not. you were planning a military operation to free the uh, hostages if they had not been freed. Sam, you know that that's something I can't talk about. I 
Have a nice lunch. Is it spaghetti?
Thank you. 